Today, I'm gonna to be discussing good whips versus bad whips and what to look out for when buying them. With me today, I have two examples. One is an eight foot kangaroo hide bullet that I made myself. And then the other is a 10 foot bullet I got off of Amazon a couple years ago. The first thing you're gonna look at when buying a whip is the materials. Kangaroo hide is gonna be a great choice for your whip because for its thickness, it is really durable. But the leather is also gonna be really expensive, which makes the whip expensive. I would not use it for cattle work. I would instead move on to parachute cord. A well-made paracord whip can crack just as well as a leather whip. And since paracord is cheap, usually parachute cord whips are not as expensive as leather whips, making them great for doing actual cattle work. You can usually find good whips that don't break the bank off of Etsy. Etsy has a lot of kangaroo hide, paracord, cow hide options. Um, and by what I can tell, just looking through there, a lot of them are of good quality. And I'll be getting more into what makes a good whip in a second. But what makes a bad whip? Well, I have a good example right here. This is a bull whip I got off of Amazon a couple years ago. And if I remember correctly, it was in the $140 range. And there are some whip makers on Etsy that make a really decent whip in this price range. This is not $140 worthy. My first and biggest issue I have with this whip is the thong. The thong is made up on the inside, I believe of some plastic material because I've had this whip for two years. It has looked like this since I got it. Which when you have a thong like this that doesn't break in, it makes cracking it pretty difficult. So since these are mass produced, I'm pretty sure there's no thought into braiding tension. Um, while the thong, since it's made up of plastic, it doesn't have to be braided tight like anywhere. I can pull up any of this braiding at any given moment. And the heel knot shifts. Here's a close up on that. And it's just made out of super cheap leather. So if you're actually gonna be using this for anything, that leather is just gonna break on you and you're gonna end up wasting money. Let's move on to what makes a good whip. A good whip is gonna be made out of good materials, whether that be leather or paracord. If you're gonna go with leather, I would make sure to stay clear of any fake leather because that'll break on you pretty quickly. A good whip should have a smooth rollout. You won't get a smooth rollout out of a poorly made whip, which ultimately ends into it being harder to crack. Look for even and tight braiding. That helps a lot in a whip's construction. It makes the whip crack way smoother. My last and probably most important piece of advice, read the reviews and look for reviews where the customer has sent in pictures of their whips. Inspect those pictures, look for the even braiding, the round curl and uh, the material. Also contact the whip maker and ask them a lot of questions. If they can answer all of your questions with ease, chances are they know what they're doing. Hopefully this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'll try and answer them as quick as possible. Other than that, thank you for watching.